Hi again. My name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller. And once again, we're going to be doing some bags from the St. Louis haul that we did in December. Got lots of plush, of course, and a bunch of smalls to share with you. Anything we want to talk about before we start? All right, then. Let me show you some of the smalls real quick. I love these wheelies. And then this is the, like, what is it? Truck. What kind of truck is these called? Car carrier? Yeah. Car hauler? Car hauler that goes with it. I've got quite a few here. I'll just fill up the entire lot, you know, all the little slots and maybe a couple of extras and then just list it maybe like 15 or $20. I don't think I shared this with you guys, but it kind of got set aside. So I'll go ahead and show it. It's Tupperware Tupper Kids sing-along songs cassette, but it's sealed. I'm not sure how old these go back to. Oh, 1994 when it was still Dart Industries. So I think that's an excellent find, but I haven't checked comps on that. I always pick these up, especially these little fairy girls. Some reason, uh, these are just really popular. I'll try to find something else to go with it. There's like things that they sit down in but these do really well. They're by VTech and they're still in the Go Smart series. I talk about the vehicles a lot. Some more smalls. This is PJ Masks. I've not had the dinosaur before. A lot of times though, I, um, these side characters, these off characters and animals and stuff tend to do really well. So we'll see. If not, I may just try to put a lot of them together. I thought he was the guy from uh, Toy Story. I didn't know until I read the bottom and it actually says PJ Masks on it. So I've talked about this series before. This is Fisher Price, my first dollhouse. Even in this condition, um, she'll probably st still sell for like eight to ten dollars. I think I have one of the other figures listed, maybe the dad. So I may put them together and then bump the price up. Octonauts. There was a time when these sold really, really well, but I think the price is coming down, except when you have them with the vehicles that some of these went to. But um, I forget his name. Captain, Captain Barnacle, maybe? No, Quasi. I think he's Quasi. But a couple of different ones of those. I picked up tons of smalls. Oh, he's backwards. Lego Duplo. I have a little boy and something else that I've been waiting to get listed that's sitting over there. So I may just go ahead and do a small lot. And then these. These are those little pacifier holders. A lot of them are Dr. Brown. This one says Wubba Nub. Um, this little bag has like four of them in it, I think. The thing is, though... Ooh, I don't know about this. None of these have removables. And normally I don't sell them. I don't know. Normally I don't sell these if they've got the nipples. I like the ones that, you know, have a little piece of a Velcro that you can replace the nipples on. So I'm not sure. I'll have to check on these and see. If nothing else... I just, I worry about these. What do you guys think? All right. I know, I worry about these. I may not list them, but it's a, something for you guys to comment on. We Especially went, those you, of you who are young mamas that use that type of stuff. We went to an estate sale the other day, and they had a pair of Clarks there for $3. And we consistently sell those $15, $20, $25, somewhere in that range. I picked it up, and as soon as I bent it, the shoe snapped in half. On, the whole sole snapped in half. Yep. Yep, so and that goes for baby nipples, too. You don't too. want that to happen in the baby's mouth. Nope. Nope. All right, let's do some plush. Look at this. This is Napco. I've just listed something recently with him, or that brand. I can't remember. But very cute. I'm hoping like $12 or so for him. Look. This is Wildlife Artists. 
sometimes the wildlife artists are also Bass Pro Shop. So if you see both of them, make sure you put that in the title. A lot of people also want to know when it was released. And some of the Bass Pro ones will say like spring 2012. So make sure you include that in your listing. I'm not sure about this one. I don't think it's Bass Pro, so... I think this is one of the, I think this is from that Mo Willems. I just sold the bunny that I showed in a recent video. This is a little pig. Yo toy. I can't read it. Have my handy dandy glasses. Nope, I'm not oh yeah, Mo Willems 2007. All right. This is Wild Republic. I have been listing tons of Wild Republic. I'll have to figure out what type of penguin this is because that always helps when you're listing these. Probably still peanut butter. I picked up a couple of these. Um, it's the pull string, but it's battery operated. Hopefully when I get new batteries in there that it will work. But look at the original price that... Um, Goodwill hat on it. $7.37 for a Woody without a hat. Maybe he had his hat, but I'm not seeing it now. You this had a hat what, here in the last haul. I know, but it's much bigger. It, it's not going to fit this one. It was bigger than his head, I'm pretty sure. But we will check because I think it's listed already. I would guess that it was smaller. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. It didn't look like the hole in the hat was big enough for his head. I don't know. To me, it seemed larger. don't know. Coles Cares again. I want to say he's like the scrawny, tawny lion or I don't know. No, I think that was a lion. No, that was a lion. I don't know. Again, a lot of these say Yo Toy on it. Let me see what the tag is saying. I almost think I have one of these listed. I'm not seeing. Just random house. See, that makes me even think, too. Some kind of lion. Honey. Oh, my memory. My memory. All right. This is DuckTales. I have found a couple of these. They are, I'm pretty sure, supposed to make sounds. This doesn't. It's not working anymore, and it definitely needs a bath. So I'm not quite sure what I'll do with him, but a lot of these, I think, bread and butter, but... You know, still, wished it worked. Spark Create Imagine. This is looking for me. Y'all, when you've listed as much stuff as I list, a lot, a lot of this is going to be repeats. If I have it still in my inventory, I'll just up the quantity as long as it's in the same condition. Like if I go look and the other one doesn't have a tag, then I won't list it as a an increase in quantity. It'll be its own listing but this is one of those rattle plush i squeezed this before the video started this is russ cute little mallard duck it does make sounds definitely when you're it when once this sells ship it in a box so that it doesn't have any damage or you know this thing gets set off so many times it no longer works I just listed a couple of more of these. This one's going to need a bath, though. These are Spark Create Imagine also. They've got these stretchable legs. Most of them have been bread and butter for me. There's always exceptions, though. Toon Squad. Don't know much about that. It doesn't have its tag anymore. But obviously, I want to say I've listed something Toon Squad. That's a Looney Tunes thing. Is it Looney, Looney Tunes? Tunes basketball? Matt, uh, Michael Jordan did a thing way back in the day. I, I remember think. that Space then, Jam, right? Space Jam, and then uh, so this is like Space Jam Two or something. It came out. I think it came out in the last few years. Oh, oh look, here's the other Woody. His little robes, his vest is pulled off a little. Let's see. Yeah, his battery's dying. Hopefully they're not corroded when I get them opened up. This is Eden. It's 
little remote uh, remote little battery pack inside of it it's not working currently hopefully fingers crossed it is going to work this is still i think pretty much bread and butter graduation's right around the corner so i'm gonna get this listed i'll pull this tag off here because it has been in, written on to somebody but it is best made toys so very cute still bread and butter there's a couple of vintage plush this one intrigues me a little because let's see who is it it is tv trading company but this is terry cloth and you all know how much i like the terry cloth um it's gonna need a bath and then I'll probably use one of those sweater shavers to try to get a little bit of the lint balls off of it. But very nice. I'm hoping $25.30 for it. This is Sugarloaf. I think Sugarloaf and Kelly Toy a lot of times are the same also. But normally it's not a brand I pick up, but it was Christmas and it's, you know, Rudolph. So I went ahead and grabbed it. It'll be like eight or ten dollars pretty sure this is vixen i know but it's from rudolph is what i meant all right just making sure it doesn't have a red nose yeah look this is acme very very cute the last time i found an acme it had a paper tag and i think acme actually is from st louis missouri so i tend to find a lot of it at the bins there this is definitely vintage. Look how cute. I'm thinking maybe 15 to 20 for it. Oh, look how cute. This is Animal Toys is the brand. Do you know how hard it is to find any comps on that title? It is from 1984. Just cute. I'll probably list it 12 to $15. I found a ton of these and I have already tried looking. I'm not finding a whole lot on them. I think almost all of them had their little tags. It says that they are snappy snaps by Aurora and they've got all these little snaps on the ends. But look, I found a bunch, a bunch. I've got a whole bag that's left over of these. But I just, I don't know. I don't know if I'll make small lots or if I'll list them individually because, you know, if if I can list them for like $7.95 or $9.95 each, that's the route I'll go because I'll have multiple quantities. But otherwise I may do two or three together if they're not if they're only worth like four or five bucks. Then I'll do, you know, and then do a $12.95 or a $14.95 listing. But I bought a bunch. And then this is Disney, Daisy Duck. She's going to need a bath, but for the most part, these are going to be my bread and butter. If I have one that's like Donald, that's of the same series, I don't want to mix and match them. But if I have one, his eyes are the same and he's about the same size, I may make a lot of them together. But if not, I'll just list her individually and maybe she'll sell by herself. Maybe I'll find something to go with her. I am positive I have either this one or something similar to it. These are play school and they flip inside out to form a different character. They have little teethers on the bottom. I want to say they're from like the 80s maybe. No, 2001. Inside out friends. No matter if I have one that's similar I'll add this one to the lot and bump the price up or I'll be doing a, but I think my other one is different, but just something vintage-y that I just had to grab. All right, now I always grab Easy Bake Oven stuff, not the ovens usually, unless it's like vintage and it's in its box and it has all of its stuff. I've done that a couple of times. Oh look, I found the other piece. But usually I'll just make a lot of these. I want to say it's like $12 to $15, depending on how many pieces I end up finding in the bag that I just was going through. So definitely keep your eyes out, especially when you're at the bins. And this stuff is just 
not very much at all. And then I grabbed this. This is Fisher Price, the little fishing pole. You know, you could use it to grab the fish's mouth. Just very cute. I want to say this is from like the 90s, maybe. Oh, it says 2004, I think. But depending on comps, I may sell these separately. A couple of the fish, I'm sure I have more of these, either individually as replacements or in small lots, and then list this separately. Because sometimes, you know, this might get broken and the parent just wants to replace the fishing pole. But very cute. Baby Alive bottles. I do really well with these. There's a series, I'm not sure if this is it, but there's a series that's magnetic and they do better than most of the other ones, but I will list this all by itself. It may be, you know, eight bucks. It might be 20. Sometimes I just don't know until I've looked up the comps. Oh wait, here's another uh, easy bake. Now I found a bunch of these. I only so far ran across this one. These are Jim Henson Word Party. I hadn't heard of that. Okay, of course, my baby's 18. But these are selling for about $10 to $15 each. And I, I want to say I found six or more of these. So a very good find if you're, you know, something you haven't noticed before. Make sure if you see Jim Henson Word Party... I tend, to, up. I tend to do that. If I see something, a brand I haven't seen before, I almost always look it up. Look at that. Here's another one of the ducktails. Again, it does not work. I may list them as a lot. I may list them individually, just depending on what comps are showing me. I have several of these. Now, the vintage glow worms, definitely a bolo. The ones that's long, tall and green. There's several that have like... um. They're blue and green. I can't remember what's on the body. All of them, there's a thermal set, a set that's like the thermal weave. All of those are excellent to find. This one is just standard. It'll probably be $8 or so for it. But easy. All you have to do is remove the light pack, throw these in the washing machine, and they're good to go. Look how cute. This is Walmart says just s frog small frog i'll use the word like corded ribbed is another word for this type of texture just cute bread and butter i always grab these there's large ones that are like mermaids i think i just sold two of them and then there's these itty bitties and then there's the older ones that have the little plug but they're called um water babies just very cute. I think th I, there's at least two in this series. They are by Play School. When you see, they kind of rumble. If I have one of these listed, um, I may just go ahead and add this one to the lot if it's the other one. Otherwise, I'll be bumping the quantity up. All right, there you go. You mentioned... Looking up looking things up you did brands. Looking up things you didn't, you've never seen before. Y'all, and if you were to touch this, it would, should automatically make you think, ooh, I need to look that up because it is very soft. I was at, RJ has to take the Stanford test every year for our uh, homeschool, umbrella school. So while he was doing that, I ran over to Salvation Army store and saw this, didn't recognize it, and looked it up. And it's called Roback. It's the, the name of the brand. There you the go. The name of the brand. The brand. And they, sixty, eighty, a hundred dollars used. Yep. This Very is a, cool. another interesting find. Levi's. They're Levi's. What are they? Stu Five fifty. Student. But student. Might flip it over for them. Yeah. Oh. I don't student. remember that. They're, I think, from the nineties. They have an old, old tag in them. Look how cute! Ooh, I've had something like this before. Dim Daco. I remember this little like bib hanging off of it. Very cute. It says a giving bear. Huh. Don't know. That's intriguing though. 
fluffy. But look. Pretty sure, yeah, it's Carter's. Cute little lamb. It has the little pacifier holder. Knotted. When you list things like this, make sure you put knotted. Just cute. You know, this could be $10. This could be way more. Don't know. Look how cute. It's got the hood comes off. This is, I think it's a stitcher. That's interesting. No, stickler. Very interesting. Made in China. Don't know if it's vintage or not, but look. It's got a bean body. Probably bread and butter. Eight to twelve dollars. I love this. Look, he's got a little jewel in him. It's Aurora. A lot of times I'll put like pastel, you know, orange, pink, jewel. Just very interesting. I found these two little dogs. I'm assuming they're, yeah. Oh, this one says Pixie. This one says Molly. They've got the Justice logo on them, which I just learned that Justice has been being sold in Walmart. That's their little logo. Not quite sure. If they're not worth a whole lot, then I'll just list them together. Now this. I've sold this in the past for like $20 or $25, but it's been a long time. This is a Sesame Street Elmo's World play set. Obviously it works. If I have an Elmo figure that goes with it, I think he was the one that was like holding a crayon. Maybe a goldfish. Can't quite remember. Um, I'll list it, but... Oh, I love finding these things. All right, this is Geotrax. I will try to find several of them and make a small lot. List them for $10, $15. This one looks interesting, so I'll have to see what went with it. And of course, pick up, I think, well, I'm pretty sure this is Monster High. Although she ain't got the, the, the crazy legs and hands, so maybe this is a different series. I don't know. I don't have girls, so not quite sure. I know there's another one that's like, I don't remember. All right, another bag down. I'm thinking we're getting into like maybe 25 bags or so left. I've gone through quite a few, so it's always fun revisiting all the treasures we picked up several months ago now. All right, let's get to work. Bye.